Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. Uh, after a little bit of fussing, not much, I was able to uh, produce a pleasing geometric element. There it is. Um, now I want to, I'm going to save these as, well, we'll, we'll call it action one. And I can't name this one, it's just going to be action one. And then I'll put action two on this one. And unfortunately, I can't collapse all of this, so it's going to, the screen's going to get really messy. Uh, but now what I'm going to do is just go over here, start, and then I'm going to use, go away, action one, and action two, and let's clear the screen. So now when I click start, it's going to call action one, which... Uh, hard to see. There's no zoom on this. Really need to zoom. Again, action one, but I click on that, does this, right? Click on action two, creates circles, right? Do them both at the same time. I get squares and circles. All right, good enough. Now, when I click on this, I'm going to get the same thing. It's just going to call on action one. It's going to call on action two. Let's do it. Bingo. All right, now. The challenge to all of you geometry teachers there who are boring your students to death, give them something fun to do, like programming. Thanks.